Hello everyone, welcome back here again to my YouTube channel. Okay, so right now I'm doing this one here. Um, the opening is about 50, almost, almost five feet. So I'm just gonna put up um, a, a load bearing beam. Using a two by eight. And a jack post will be two. It's gonna be the one here only and that should be fine just to support those ones well guys when you guys are doing a simple uh, load bearing right load uh, bearing like this it's, this is about six feet uh, wide uh, if you don't have any equipment to use it you can always use like 2 by 4 to jack post it so so these are the the two jack posts that I have All right I already put this one in places but it's not um, secure grid right? so what you have to do is you gotta cut this guy short of like half by half an inch. Okay. You need a bottom plate. Make sure this post is sitting on the uh, the joist. So it's very see? It's short because I have this. Let's do the other side. So that's what I did. The reason why we have to leave a space like that, because when, when you put the other one, you have a space to put it it's easier for you to put it put it on okay let's do the other one all right so let's put the second one see this is what i was trying to say if you make this one tight then you won't be able to put the next one same thing Okay, that's good. So now I can remove this one, but not this. This two. You gotta leave that one still until the, you uh, install the uh, install the jack stud 
Alright, so I don't remove the jack post yet. All right. So once we put the other one, then we can install the jack stud one. So now on this side we can now install the jack stud. All right. So now the jack stud can go. All right. So it's ready. That's the last one that we're gonna do. I'm just gonna remove this thing from already. Jump post that I put here. Okay. All right, so we got this one ready. Something. See that one there? So sometimes that happens. So what I do, usually do, I just put shims, right? Because of the the what all the ceiling joists, they're not even. So that's what happened. So if you encounter that, you're just gonna put shims like that. And then you're all good. <clears throat> so down here, make sure you are the you're on the uh, bottom plate. So now that's the finish. All we're gonna do now is just drywall it. 